on the dry conditions. With the first truck, if you brake quite hard and if there is not a very good grip, you can slide a lot and then it's difficult to come into the corner. But when the grip is well or when you choose the good tires and you have good grip with the rear, you can come into the corner with safe and with very confidence. I can feel it on the wet condition when with the tires. You feel that any movement on the bike, oh, the bike already slides and uh, this so you, you can lose confidence. And, uh, but when you feel that you can open smooth and uh, but step by step more and more, you, you take confidence and even on the wet you can be quite fast. Generally in the dry you need a slick tyre, basically one of these. Uh, in the wet you need one of these, wet tyre. Uh, the difference between the two is uh, about 36% land-sea ratio. The land being the full tyre or, or the, the contact patch and the sea being the part of where the tyre is missing to throw the water and generate heat. The actual construction of a, a wet tyre is a little bit stiffer to a, a slick. Um, we also have a lot more pressure in, in the, the wet tyre because it doesn't generate enough temperature to, to grow. Temperature wise, running temperatures, you'll see a slick get up anything up to 130 degrees, whereas generally you don't want to see any more than 65, 70 degrees in a wet. It's always go out and try to go on the limit and feel the limit. That's the most important point. I mean, during a session, you cannot go in and, and change the bike a lot. You can change small things, but then you just have to ride and get a good feeling. That's the most important point. One of the key points is to have a good basic setup of the bike uh, to be ready for all conditions, finally. If you have a cold weather, cold condition, if you see some, uh, some water, suddenly the bike can, can slide and also with the slick tires. If it's wet, you can crash suddenly, so it's, I think, quite dangerous when it starts to rain. Mixed conditions when it's drying track. Uh, when we get a drying line, obviously that be, creates a problem for the wet tyre. Temperature, if it starts going over 80 degrees, we start seeing the tyre, the actual compound, break away and, and will just chunk out and throw itself. Uh, with the slick, obviously, if we're going below 80 degrees uh, uh, temperature, we don't want to see that and that's when performance drops so that they're not really on the pace. And the pace is about 10 to 15 seconds from a slick to a wet on you know, individual tracks. If you don't feel any movements on the bike, so you can push, but you have to be very clever, I think. On the wet conditions, really, we can improve more to come into the corner than leave the corner because just if you want to leave the corner, you can slide suddenly. But with the front, it's quite good. So my technique is to, to win this time uh, at the beginning. It's just go out and try, try to find the limit and then feel the limit. Where's the limit? And then you, you see, uh, yeah, is it good or not to grip well?